What's going on everybody? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at some of the new styles from Roan. Alright guys, so Roan is one of my favorite premium menswear brands and their shorts have made it both years in a row on my top training shorts buyer's guide. But there's one thing that kind of keeps me away from buying more and more Roan stuff and it's that their inseams can kind of be a little bit long for my 5'9 frame. The Mako shorts come in a 9 inch inseam and while that might not seem all that long for most people, it is for me because I just like to wear short shorts. Roan just dropped a bunch of new styles that are all 7 inches in inseam length, which is going to be perfect if you like short shorts like myself. Now the first short that we're going to take a look at today is the 7 inch version of the classic Mako short. Now this has all the makings of the original Mako, it's got two side pockets, one hidden on the right and then one hidden zippered on the left as well. You also have a zippered rear pocket, the Roan logo on the butt. And this one's going to have a four-way stretch fabric with an elastic drawstring waistband. Really, really light, airy material for this. Extremely comfortable short. This one's going to be an all-around good training short that you can be a little bit harder on if you are planning to do any kind of barbell cycling on this short. The 7-inch Mako short retails for $64. The next style that we're going to take a look at is Roan's brand new maneuver shorts. This is their no nonsense go to training short. This is going to be what you're going to want to wear if you don't need anything bogging you down. This one only has one side pocket. It's got a gold fusion liner that is much nicer than the liner that was found on the original Swift. This one's a little bit tighter. The inseam once again is 7 inches. You have some reflective details on the side right here. The material on the maneuver shorts more closely resembles the pace breakers, so it's a little bit softer in feel and durability. I'm going to say that you should stay away from barbell cycling in the maneuver shorts, but it still should be good for most wads where you're not having to make too much contact with your legs. The maneuver shorts retail for $68. Now the last style that we're going to take a look at today is Roan's brand new Guru shorts. They designed these shorts for yoga, but they can be used for any other training as well. The material is still a light four-way stretch fabric, though it is a little bit heavier than the Maneuver and the Mako shorts. It's got a perforated design all throughout the short, two side pockets, one side zip pocket. Now out of all of Roan's brand new styles, I think I like the Guru shorts the most because the material feels like it can take a better beating than the Maneuver shorts or the Mako shorts can and it's still very lightweight, flexible and comfortable. But the Guru shorts happen to be the most expensive out of the bunch at $78. I really like all of Roan's brand new styles, but if I could only choose one, it would be the Mako shorts. Reason being, they're a little bit cheaper, the material is still durable and lightweight, the shorts are very functional, they have all sorts of pockets, they look good, and of course they've got the 7 inch inseam. If you've got the money to splurge, then definitely check out the Guru shorts. If you're looking for a lightweight, no nonsense training shorts, then check out the Maneuver shorts. They're all really, really good shorts that we went over today. And if you guys have any questions about these shorts, feel free to leave them in the comments section. As always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.